Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Friday afternoon, hoping all is well with you out there today, as always. Today I wanted to talk about two things. First off, wow, there is a whole lot of Kratom coverage going on right now. Rhode Island getting a great deal of that coverage, but also like just the the outlets that, that Kratom is finding itself in right now. Specifically, and this brings me to item number two, there's an actual section in the National Geographic, like the National Geographic covering Kratom right now. It came out June 13th, so just yesterday. And this is in addition to a number of other sources like University of Connecticut, um, also like the more local stuff going on uh, around the country. And then, of course, like Rhode Island with recent news happening there. So it's like there's there's a whole lot of coverage and it's not often that I like look through my feed of, of Kratom articles and I have trouble selecting one, you know. Like usually there's just one that's that's a recent, you know, one or two, maybe, maybe three. But this is like, you know, petition to ban Kratom in Virginia meets backlash and more state headlines. So that's Virginia. You got uh, that. Then like looking back earlier in the month, you see a whole lot like Georgia and everything. Then you see uh, why doctors and advocates disagree on Kratom, the herb poised for legalization in Rhode Island. Um, you see uh that article being republished again actually in a different news source um and then the the national geographic article is uh what is kratom the risks and benefits of the herbal product i'll link it in the description you can take a look at it if you'd like and um you know what the heck i'll i'll link a bunch in the description today if you want to go into the description of this episode you can find like I don't know, I'll post like four or five different articles that have come out recently about Kratom just in the past few days alone, um, just so you know what I'm looking at. But it's really something else to see. I mean, I I was, there are spurts when when it comes to like Louisiana, <laughs> when there's all the local stuff going on in Louisiana, it's like you can focus on Louisiana stuff and you'll get something in your feed all the time. But, um, but more broadly, like even if you're just using a simple RSS feed, to look at all all articles that mention Kratom, okay? And for anyone who thinks this is like too technical, it's really not. Like I, I'll link that in the description as well. It's just using Google News. So you can use that too. Um, that's one way to search for Kratom articles. There's a bunch of ways, but I'll link multiple articles in the description of this episode for you just in case. The one in National Geographic is under their science section. And just to give you a little taste of what it is, it says, what is Kratom, the truth behind the popular and controversial supplement? Touted as an energy booster and mood enhancer, Kratom is ubiquitous in convenience stores and gas stations around the U.S., so why does the FDA list it as a drug of concern? So I will put that in the description. One thing to note from it that I just, you know, I, I've, I've only read through it once and usually it takes me a th- few times of reading through an article before I can really talk much about it because um, I have to, like, take it in a bit and I'm often missing something, like, before I read it a few times. But um, just as a little thing that I saw, it says in one part of it, is Kratom safe? And this is like significant to me because National Geographic is like a widely read, you know, pretty respectable magazine publication. Like it doesn't even matter if you're left, right, up or down, whatever political affiliation you have, whoever you are, chances are you're okay with the fact that National Geographic exists. <laughs> like, like, I mean, you can have problems with certain things they do here and there, but it's like, you know, it's National Geographic. I mean, okay, you know, come on. They take neat pictures, <laughs> like, at the end of the day. So it's like people are reading this is my only point I'm making. People are, or at least if they're not reading this, they're, like, seeing it's in there. They see the headline. They go, hmm, that's a thing, you know? So um, is Kratom safe? This is what they say. While Kratom teas and other fresh leaf products have long been used safely in Southeast Asia, studies have shown Western users often consume very different stuff, with huge unknown variations in the amount of active chemical ingredients. And then it goes on to quote uh, the uh, Christopher McCurdy, who's a professor at University of Florida, I believe. 
and has been studying Kratom for a long time. I don't know how long, but it actually, it says it in the article. I just can't remember, but, um, for, I'm a, I think it was like 10 years. I think it's a decade. Um, it's interesting to me that Kratom is like, I don't know. It's interesting that you can say Kratom has been consumed for thousands of years or hundreds of years or whatever. Long used safely is what they say in Southeast Asia. And then you can like then pivot and say Western users consuming very different stuff, huge unknown variations, amount of active chemical ingredients. It's like, okay, so, so like, you know, (laughs) this right here is yet another example of how Kratom itself isn't like a boogeyman deadly thing and i think just a pause here i don't mean people are saying that overwhelmingly something that i've been trying to get a grip of recently is like how many people are actually on each side of the spectrum here on the opposite sides like how many people actually want kratom to be 100 percent legal no regulation i don't think there's that many and then same on the other side how many people want kratom completely banned totally i don't know but i don't know how many i mean it's one thing to say uh, I see a lot of people posting about it but it's like yeah you can say that about anything but like how representative of that you know is that of the people who would have an opinion on it in real life you know like in front of you face to face I don't know but I have a feeling there's not that many people and it's just the loudest that that are heard um on both sides often times um so anyway, I, I just, I guess I had to make sure I said that um, before I say that I don't really know how someone could say that Kratom itself needs to be, needs to be banned because it is dangerous in and of itself. Because that's just not seemingly true. I mean, if you can say that it's been used for that long safely, then... It's not a problem in and of itself. So then it comes down to what are you doing to it and what is your culture, you know, doing with it, I guess. Um, Those would be the two problems. But, and I don't have a problem with people arguing that Kratom should be illegal. What I do have a problem with is basing it off the fact that, that it is itself inherently deadly. Um, I think that the problem is we need more specificity we need specific we need to be careful with our wording because it would be too all too easy to make something completely legal and accessible to people when it's dangerous if you're not careful with your words and it would be all too easy to just ban and get rid of something when in and of itself it is not the problem and you're just going to transfer the problem you know over somewhere else if you're not careful with your wording so i don't know I guess that's kind of a hard string of thoughts to follow. I'm already losing my own, you know, (laughs) I'm already, I can't, as Lewis Black once said, you don't have enough breadcrumbs to get home. (laughs) Like I'm already losing my own trail of breadcrumbs here. But anyway, hopefully you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, It's a pretty major point that a national, that National Geographic is going to say that it's been used safely for all this time. Um, But in the West, this is a problem here. It's like, okay. And the same can be set up, you know, in, in, Southeast Asia, they they've been doing crazy stuff like mixing it, mixing kratom with like cough syrup and stuff. And I mean, I have no idea why anyone would want to do that, but um, that's a thing there, and it's I don't see that happening as much here. So I don't know, what a world, right? Um, but you can learn more about the world at National Geographic, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Um, have a great weekend, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back on Monday. Thanks so much for listening. Talk to you all then. Bye bye.